What's up, YouTube? That's all beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today, what we doing? One of my subscribers, uh, reached out to me and asked me how to um how to put use the um automation on the return track so he's asking how do you do returns on an automation track so akai need to fix this because you can't do automation if you have a plugin on the return you can't automate that plugin that's on the on the the return or the send track right so today what i'm going to do i'm going to show you a little um it's like a little workaround how to get around to to um automate the return track all right it's just a little workaround you can't automate it once it's on the return but i'm gonna show you a little workaround how to do it all right so let's go let's get it this is what this video is about it's a real quick tutorial ain't gonna take that long all right I'm already working on the beat, so I'm just going to pull the beat up and show you what I need to show you, all right? And then we out of here, all right? So let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, man. All righty. So we're inside the NPC. This is the beat that I was working on. So you want to hear the beat real fast? Let me let you hear it. That's just the drums. So I really just started the, the, the beat. All right. So what I'm going to do is I think I already put uh, let's go here. Nope let's go here and let's go to um i got these muted let's i put a delay on here right so the the air delay is on the um is on the return one so we're going to use the drum and turn let's turn the, the um turn the wetness up for for return one so this right here control how much of the drum will go into return one so i'm gonna put it all the way up but first, what you need to do is, oh, first, let me show you how, why it won't work. If it's on the return, because normally what you're supposed to do is just go up here and hit this, um, is, is, is either read or write. Write is when you do your automation. Read when it's green, it, it reads whatever you already did. All right. So we needed to be read to do the automation. So I turned it all the way up over here on the drum because this is the, the, the drum track right here is all the way up now you should hear the effects happening right now if I turn this down it goes off but you should see the automation happening there's no automation you can hear it happening so it should be reading it right now And when you stop it and stop and put it back to read. Right. But if I turn if I if I turn this what's the name, if I turn this off, it don't it don't do it. It, it just continuously do it. It should stop. When I did the mix, when I try to automate the mix, it was supposed to be a point where it stop. And then it should be a point where it happens. And then it should be a point where it stops in a point where it happens all right but see I, I i just left it there and it's just continuously going so it's not being automated all right even if i put it on on right it should be automated let's go back to home show you it should be automated because it's on red it's on right now you should be seeing the automation happening right here. All right. So it don't work like that because it's on the return track. 
the workaround to it is if you put it on the if you put it on the return right say you have it on the return just turn just play your play your music and then set your 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 effect how you want it to sound that's the first step just set it how you want it to sound and how you comfortable with it so now i'm setting it say i'm comfortable with that that's how i want it all right so we'll leave it like that what you have to automate is this button right here i mean this knob right here either you want it on or you want it off because you can't automate the mix the wet and dry mix right here you can't automate that so you have to automate the on or the off so make sure you set it how you want it first so when you turn it on is the way you want it and when you turn it off it goes back natural so now let's let's do this let's leave it on off right and let's we, we got it on off let's play from start make sure this is on on right is on right right now now what we're going to do is just hit play and then do the automation. Once we do the automation, you should be able to see it going on and off. All right. Once we using this knob. So let's go. First, I'm going I'm to make it off and then I'm going to start automating from right bar three. All right. So let's go. Let's hit play from start. Make sure this is red or when it's red is on right. Let me go back home. All right, so now I'm home. It's on right now. All right, so we at home. Let's go to right, and we're gonna automate this knob right here. All right, so let's go. look see it so when we go to the there go right here you just check your send one because that's what we're affecting the send one see so that's the workaround right there affect this knob so that's the workaround right there remember when it's in your return you can't mess with it there you have to mess with the knob to turn it on or to turn it off so that's it that's just the workaround akai really needs to fix that where we can automate any track any return any send any submix we need to be able to to automate the master everything all right so catch you in the next video man all right peace let's get it let's go